right? So last week, Cardi B had some issues with uh, Joe Budden. She had some issues with a couple of fans. And Cardi B kind of be on edge. Like, she be ready to go in on people. Like, I, I, I be trying to... Um, I be trying to cape for it at, time, at times, but sometimes she be dead ass wrong. A lot of times she be dead ass wrong. You know, it is what it is. You know, we we still love you, Cardi. But, um, yeah, her and Joe Button had their issues. Uh, I, I think I did talk about that the last podcast. But um, she'll get on, online and talk about her fans, or at least the people that talk shit about her online with the quickness. But the problem with that is, is that the fans will get online and talk about Cardi ass too so if you can't dish it I mean if you can't take it don't be out there dishing it let me let y'all see what one of the fans man had to say about Cardi B man she kind of went in kind of hard so it's like two minutes long but I had to I had to save this one in particular and say man I'm gonna bring this to the fans and let them see what this girl went in on on, on Cardi B no I ain't uh, seen it her name is uh Paradise uh Paradise Paris and uh, she said something about Cardi B, and then Cardi B, you know, uh, talked shit on her and call, uh, said that she had three stomachs. So she said, uh, Cardi B said that Paris got three stomachs, and then Paris said, all right, well, let me go ahead and go in on you like a real black woman would. So y- y'all know them Puerto Ricans and Dominicans and Spanish women do be having lethal tongues. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, in more ways than one. You did excellent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I'm talking about the lethal tone that you don't want to really deal with, man. And you, you know they they, they be talking all that. Yeah, 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 yappity yap. But black women, you know, they tongues not that bad either. Y'all, y'all check all out. the tweets that I was tweeting to praise her and chose that one, and she should have stood on it. Now, don't delete nothing because I'm just now seeing it, and I just woke up and it hit the blogs. Yeah, you caught red hand all that backbiting you thought you was going behind your button and clearing him for. You doing the same thing. Don't throw no rock and hide your hand, Miss Mamas. It ain't an etch a sketch bitch in the motherfucking world who could ever make me feel bad about my body. You done touched everything on you, and you still got so many insecurities because you can't keep your husband at home. You done paid for bitches to get beat up because they want to suck the same dick you sucking. That's not a me problem. That's a you problem. It could be four stomachs. It could be six stomachs. It could be seven stomachs. At the end of the day, you done sat there and paid for everything on you, and you still insecure. You still cannot keep yourself in the media selling sex and the sex ain't going nowhere it don't matter how much of a bad bitch you think you are with them hard ass titties at the end of the day what was said about you is correct your ass is sitting around trying to make sure you keep your family intact and your ass is still over here cussing out fans delusional fans when you're getting passed up by every single body around you you call yourself this badass rapper and you in this terrible ass 360 deal with atlantic when you need to be sitting around worried about how you gonna make sure these tracks hit the fucking charts and stay because even your peers are passing you up it's no reason why megan stallions is on tour right now came out behind you and you done did a number one album and your ass can't even put out a actual single that stays on the charts longer than two weeks so yeah what i said was correct and if it hit a nerve that's too motherfucking bad maybe you need to get in the booth and maybe you need to figure out how to get some records that are actually going to stay on the charts Ooh. and stop cussing out these fans who are kids that like you acting like you so for your fans and y'all in a good relationship when you Ooh. act real motherfucking homophobic when you sat there and told them boys he was a fag he was a sissy you got big fish and fry and it ain't me so next time you feel like you want to come for me First of all, you better stand on what you said. You better stand on what you said. Because I'm the bitch that's going to give it to you. I don't give a fuck how black you want to pretend you are. I'm really that. Don't nobody look at me and question it. I don't care about your accomplishment. Because next time you want to say something out your mouth, I'm going to be right here to give it right back to you. Y'all may as fuck. Yeah, she went in, huh? Oh, <laughs> shit. That why I done got off social media, man. Oh it, 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 God. So turned out here, man. Oh, man. I had to bring in the goddamn nah, man. Yeah, she went in. PTSD, yeah. man. I used yeah. to I used to go with a couple of Spanish girls, man. I don't know whether to cry for them or to give somebody a hug, man. 
But what time out for all the stomachs and all of the uh, <laughs> all body? The stomachs. No, I mean that's. I mean tweet. body positive. I mean she right, man. I will take a, a young lady with three stomachs before I take a, a fake one. You know, it just is what it is. You know, tits ain't trans, my nigga. Excuse my French. You know, uh, I don't care what they look like. I don't care what them hips look like. The stretch more, the pimples, anything like that. She had a point, man. You can do all you want to do, but if you ain't right inside, then you all gonna do is deflect it, man, when you get triggered. And if you getting triggered by somebody don't matter, man, adolescence, like what she said, I don't know if it's true, because I don't follow it, you know, but based on what she said, she going in on little boys, other fans and stuff, calling them by names and stuff. It's like, come on, man, don't nobody want her. You know, she can't get paid at a stripper no more. She might get paid for a show, but hey, man, uh, she kind of went in, man. That, that was kind of strong. That, that was kind of strong. That was kind of strong. Yeah, the damn show was, That was kind of strong. All right, so, again, Cardi B was all over the news cycle for the last couple of weeks, and we had to get some uh, catching up. So, uh, this was another part of the news cycle that Cardi B was in. Um, Hunt, y'all remember, she went in on Joe Budden, and then um, Joe apologized, and then Cardi B apologized. So first, Joe said, hey, man, one thing about it, I ain't going to never be mad at Cardi B. You know, I forgive her, um, you know, for make, for going in on me. But Joe just be doing, you know, Joe just be saying stuff about folks. He ain't really say nothing about Cardi anyway. Like, you really, uh, Cardi is one of his favorite people. So... Rob, big Rob on Friday. Saw that. Saw that. That's gonna be crazy, but that's what Cardi's about to be now. Just a single artist. We're not getting none of that shit. I mean, it, 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 you was right too about what? About Atlantic wanting to put out an album. You was right. So you be right sometimes about them wanting to put oh, out an album. We don't care about none of that. I shit. ain't spoke to nobody at Atlantic. I'm just be on a hunch. So you don't went and got some information from somewhere. I just, let me just I'm sure that. somebody involved wants Cardi to put out an album. What? Yeah, of course they do. do. I'm sure Offset want Cardi to put out an album. Hey, fellas out there, boyfriends, y'all know that feeling, right? When you want your bitch to get a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, again, man, my boy Joe just be talking shit, but he might be right, and he was kind of wrong with some of his stance. But the the, the pause that he was right, we'll talk about it in just a moment. But first, let's talk about this apology. Uh, first, uh, he said. Uh, Cardi is on my list of people I'm going to love no matter what. If I ever made a joke that Cardi B is offended, uh, that offended Cardi B, I'm sorry. Then Cardi uh, replied, I got love for you uh, too, Joe, but you've been changing your tone on me real heavy the last three years, whether music or personal. Like when I was going through real shit with my marriage in December, you went on your platform and tried to make that about somebody else and what they got going on. I know criticism comes with the territory, but sometimes the narrative what y'all decide to go run with be so toxic. It's all love, though. See you soon. So, in other words, yeah, Cardi B was having issues with her marriage on the same week last year that Nicki Minaj dropped her album. So that came up, and that kind of seemed like that that was some convenient, uh, you know, uh, issues to be having at home. So that was one of the issues. Then they 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 got back together. That was in December. So since December, Hun Offset been kind of rocky. They kind of been on and off again, I guess you could say. Um, but we got some new news to announce, man. We actually been feeling this way for quite some time. But uh, as y'all say, we do not police or speak on women's bodies or women's business unless we know for sure. And um she has officially made the announcement that Cardi B is pregnant with her third child. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Nation building out here, man. Procreation, man, gonna lead this nation, man. Those are told. Yeah, man. She dropped the picture. And like Joe Budden say, man, he was like, yeah, I know Offset ready for you to drop the album. And you know, Joe Budden, you was right and you was wrong at the same time. But I'm going to let you say it again. Feeling right when you want your bitch to get a job? <laughs> Boy, boyfriends, y'all know that feeling, right? Somebody involved wants Cardi to put out an album. What? Yeah, of, course of course they, they do. do. I'm sure Offset wants Cardi to put out an album. Hey, I don't know if Offset I, wanted to put I out an album. I don't know about that. Uh, let me tap in, though. Let me tap in, man. So say if you're a boyfriend or a baby daddy or a husband or whatever the narrative is, how you want to put a label on a black man. But a black man expecting a child... The last thing that that man's going to really want if he's expecting to be a father, man, three times over, maybe I don't know their whole situation, 
But if they expect them together, the last thing you want to be stressing about business, politics, you know, being relevant, you know, and and not throw shade on Joe Buttons. I I seen a couple clip, but uh, he known more for a podcast than he is for music, you know. So it's still Cardi B being playing the club. So if she want to take a break for motherhood and celebrate that in life, yeah, I wouldn't be calling up bitch, especially if he want to get respect with you know a husband or anybody else that wants some balance. You know, I just don't understand. Well, speaking of her husband, man, actually Cardi B also announced along with being pregnant with her third child from Offset, she also had to announce, unfortunately, that her and Offset are having a little issues with their marriage, and it might be a little serious this time. So this is the second time Cardi B has recently filed for divorce from her husband, Offset. So we're just going to pray for them. Pray for um, them, man. Because, you know, they're bringing Do it for in, the kids, man. They're, doing it, they're bringing in a new life into the world. Um, Offset been spotted out with a random woman that could have been his assistant. He could have been, you know, his cousin, like, you know, uh, your boy Meech, Meechie had. Um, it could have been anybody, man. But they say that Offset out there cheating again. And Cardi say she ain't having it no more. So And that's fine, man. That's and, fine. Then they, and even if they do, man, maybe, you know, they're, they, they better – by themselves. Maybe they better off apart, but we're going to pray for you, Cardi, and Offset, uh, yes. with all respect. And unborn child. Yes, yes. And the whole family culture. Um, I don't know the, uh, her son's name, but yeah, the whole family. And man. it should be personal, though. Yeah, well, she announced it online. <laughs> we wouldn't really be talking about it. Like, I, I know when she was pregnant for some weeks. I ain't even say nothing about her being pregnant. But since she announced it online, and she showed, you know, these pictures, these nice pictures of of, of her body and, and her and her husband. I'm you know. shoot. Yeah, I can dig it. Yeah, good. yeah. So now we're talking about it, man. So congratulations, yeah. Cardi B, and um, prayers to you, Cardi B. And all the, all the other expecting mothers out there. But you can't be going in on your fans, Cardi. Can't do it. Can't be going in on your fans, Cardi. You got you to gotta, gotta bad back off the fans. Man. Can't win like that. Because she, 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 she be saying some shit online like she don't be playing that shit you come for cardi like she might just write a record about you and actually she got a record about ice spice ice spice man all of <laughs> I, i'm just gonna move on because this shit be happening all day every day with the ladies in rap you know they just can we all just get along you gotta figure that out um but yeah last thing you would want if you was your baby dad if you had a, uh your baby mama was a rapper is to have her out here beefing with these women on on wax, and or oh, promote here. a new album in the second trimester. Yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I want my B to go get work. Come on, now nah, she's pregnant, man. Yeah. That, that ain't what I'm thinking about. And she got a new song called "On That Money" with Rob Four Nine. So, you know, she she was looking good in the video. But she got talent, man. So regardless of what she looked like, face, case, big belly or not, man, you know, three stomachs don't matter. You know, if she talented, if she got something to say, it's good, man. Let's hear it. You think, you think Cardi B got talent? I mean, she got popular songs still being played. I'm just playing with you, bro. She got talent, bro. I, I mean, mean, I'm just saying, I wouldn't freestyle against her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? I was just saying what you was going to say, I'm man. I'm just saying, man. I'm not a hater, man. I ain't Joe Buttons out here, man. Joe Button, man. Uh, yeah. I, he I, did I, call her uh, B, though, man. They supposed to be friends, man. Now he was saying that you know in the uh, it, 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 in the general on, term, on, man. man, general term. Of it's still misogynistic a little bit, women. man. Or you want women to be barefoot pregnant if they married? Man, all I know, man, is she got a new video with Rob Four Nine, man. It's called uh, "On That Money," and she was looking good in the video. Man, I bet her verse, all right, whether she wrote it or not, it don't matter. I bet she had a decent verse. So what you trying to say? I don't know. I'm about to listen to it. <laughs> I ain't gonna play it, man. Okay, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them live with this one. But yeah, okay. they got a whole lot of money. Okay, you know, she looking good. Money look good, and so she might be back on the, on on the scene, you know. So I'm I'm gonna be nice. Shout I'm out to nice. the plastic surgeons out there. Yeah, yeah. The makeup I, I, I said I'm gonna be nice, <laughs> bro. I said I'm gonna be nice. Look at all that money and all that body and all that goodness. I, I see, man. Good makeup on, too, man. man. Hairstylist, man. All that, man. Shout outs. Yeah, man. So, so team go, that put that together, man. So y'all go check out the new single with Rob Four Nine and Cardi B is called 
own that money, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I ain't so. never uh I ain't never did the nasty on no money. I guess I ain't, you know, I ain't have enough of it. Ain't so. You gotta have quite a bit of cash. Hey man, them brownies, man, hurt, man. What, pennies? Yeah, you do it on pennies, man. That shit ain't gonna feel good. Yeah, man, that, that is a good point. I ain't never even. I done had enough pennies too. That's what I'm saying, but yeah. that ain't a good idea. You lay the f- pennies out all over. Nah, the bed. that ain't a good idea. It might look cool on the picture, but to do it, nah, like, man. Come nah, on, nah, baby. Nah. For some Valentine's Day, man, I'm gonna lay all the pennies out all over the bed. We gonna okay. break the I'm, piggy bank, baby. I don't care if it's quarters, man. That shit don't feel good. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, if it better feels, don't feel good. It feels excellent. But anyway, uh, moving right along. Again, prayers to Cardi B, Offset, Joe Button, and all the fans out there. Uh, Vibes Cartel is free. 